Imagine this, you're in a one bedroom apartment for an entire summer. It's just you and your dog and you spend every day staring at the same screen. You can't leave because the whole world is watching you. Thank you. Sounds crazy, right? One, two, three IT nerds sitting around a table. What will somebody watch? Maybe somebody will watch this idiot count to a million. So we said, why the hell not? 87, 88, 89 days. That's how long it took me to count to a million. That's how long I was in this apartment without seeing the sunshine. 89 days. 245, 246, 247. The live stream was on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The only privacy that I had was in the bathroom where the door shut. People watched me eat, people watched me sleep. It was kind of like a one-way mirror. Having yourself broadcast over the internet is scary. It's daunting and to understand what that does to the person that's counting is one thing. And then to also watch what the viewers, how they react to it is a huge psychology experiment. This kid in Texas put together a soundboard that people could go on and they would PayPal, you know, a dollar or five dollars. Someone purchased the chicken dance. Start dancing any 10 seconds while the music starts. That evolved into, oh, uh, well, let's make him do the chicken dance for $25, and which got to, let's pay him $50 to do the Macarena. 2005, 2006. In 2007, technology didn't exist as it exists today. This was the beginning of YouTube. The iPhone had just came out. This was the beginning of people really connecting over the internet. People would send emails all the time. People would mail things to my apartment. Some food, a uh, yo-yo. I talked to Glenn Beck over the phone. I was on Good Day Australia and this radio show in London. But some of the more touching things are the, the teacher in Denmark that sends an email and says that their children are learning English by watching you count every day in school. 16,000. 999. $17,000. We raised $17,000 for Push America, which is now called the Ability Experience. 25,003. 25,004. 25,005. 250,000. 250,001. 250,002. Almost halfway done, right? Is very relative. Halfway done with a sandwich is not the same as being halfway done with a marathon. 499,997. At the halfway point, there was a gathering at a local bar. They had a live feed of me counting. I also had a feed from their bar to me. 500,000. Once you start something, in this case, everyone's watching you. Like, the desire is to finish. 999,996. When I woke up on the last day, the emotions that are involved there are going wild. It's not just because, hey, I'm, I'm about to accomplish this goal that I set out to do. It is, man, look at this journey that I have been on. 999,997 bittersweet, more sweet than bitter, um, knowing that, hey, this is, this is coming to an end today. It's a celebration and then it's, it's a, a memory that you're never gonna lose. 999,998. 999 One million.
One million, the Guinness World Record for the highest number counted out loud by a human being. It's mine. I think walking out the door, there was sun beaming on me and I haven't felt that in 89 days. But at the same time, I had been directed by the world for so long and I was still part of that play. You don't realize how far detached from reality that you really are. You wake up on the 91st day, go to work. Right? You um, walk outside to walk your dog. You do things that had become routine for your entire life and then you take those away and you have to go back to them. It's hard. These days I never get tired of telling the story. It comes up over and over and over again and it's as fun to tell the story as it ever has been. It's always going to be a part of my life. You can't untaste something that you've already tasted. Everybody has their one, everybody has their million. To get from point A to point B, you just got to take one step at a time.